Davri Hayamim Shani, 2 Chronicles 35. Moreover, Yoshiyahu kept a pichach unto Yahuwah in Yerushalayim, and they killed the pichach on the 14th day of the first month. And he set the priests in their charges and encouraged them to the service of the house of Yahweh. And said unto Levi, rather, and said unto the Leviim that taught all Yashra'el, which were holy unto Yahweh, put eth the holy ark in the house which Shalomah, the son of David, king of Yashra'el, did build, it shall not be a burden upon your shoulders. Serve now at Yahweh Elohechem and at his people, Yashara'el. And prepare yourselves by the houses of your fathers after your courses, according to the writing of David, king of Yashara'el, and according to the writing of Shalomah, his son and stand in the holy place according to the divisions of the families of the fathers of your brethren the people and after the divisions of the families of the Leviim. So kill the Pichach and sanctify yourselves and prepare your brethren that they may do according to the word of Yahuwah by the hand of Moshe. And Yoshiahu gave to the people of the flock, lambs and kids, all for the pihach offerings for all that were present, to the number of thirty thousand and three thousand bullocks. These were of the king's substance. And his princes gave willingly unto the people, to the priests, and to the Leviim, Kilkiyahu and Zachariahu and Yachiel, rulers of the house of Elohim, gave unto the priests for the Pekach offerings two thousand and six hundred small cattle and three hundred oxen. Konanyahu also and Shemeyahu and Nathan El, his brethren, and Chesav Yahu, and Yeiel, and Yosef Ad, chief of the Leviim, gave unto the Leviim for Pekach offerings five thousand small cattle and five hundred oxen. So the service was prepared, and the priests stood in their place, and the Leviim in their courses according to the king's commandment. And they killed the Pekach, and the priests sprinkled the blood from their hands, and the Leviim flayed them, and they removed the burnt offerings that they might give, according to the divisions of the families of the people, to offer unto Yahweh, as it is written in the Sefer of Moshe, and so did they with the oxen. And they roasted the Pekach with fire according to the ordinance. But the other holy offerings sod they in pots and in cauldrons and in pans and divided them speedily among all the people. And afterward they made ready for themselves and for the priests because the priests the sons of Aharan, were busied in offering of burnt offerings and the fat until night. Therefore the Leviim prepared for themselves and for the priests, the sons of Aharan, and the singers, the sons of Echaf, were in their place, according to the commandment of David, and Echaf, and Heman, and Yedithan, the king's seer, and the porters waited at every gate. They might not depart from 
rather, they might not depart from their service, for their brethren, the Leviim, prepared for them. So all the service of Yahweh was prepared the same day, to keep the Pikach and to offer burnt offerings upon the altar of Yahweh, according to the commandment of King Yoshiahu. And the children of Yashadael that were present kept at the Pikach at that time and at the feast of Matzah seven days. And there was no Pikach like to that kept in Yashadael from the days of Shemuel the prophet. Neither did all the kings of Yashadael keep such as Pikach as Yoshiahu kept, and the priests, and the Leviim, and all Yahuda and Yashadael that were present, and the inhabitants of Yerushalayim. In the eighteenth year of the reign of Yoshiahu was this Pikach kept. After all this, when Yoshiahu had prepared at the temple, Nico, king of Mitzrayim, came up to fight against Karkamish by Parath, and Yoshiahu went out against him. But he sent ambassadors to him, saying, What have I to do with you, king of Yahuda? I come not against you this day, but against the house wherewith I have war. For Elohim commanded me to make haste. Forbear you from meddling with Elohim, who is with me, that he destroy you not. Nevertheless, Yoshiahu would not turn his face from him, but disguised himself, that he might fight with him, and hearkened not unto the words of Nico from the mouth of Elohim, and came to fight in the valley of Megiddo. And the archers shot at King Yoshiahu, and the king said to his servants, Have me away, for I am sore wounded. His servants, therefore, took him out of that chariot and put him in the second chariot that he had. And they brought him to Yerushalayim, and he died and was buried in one of the sepulchres of his fathers. And all Yahuda and Yerushalayim mourned for Yoshiahu, and Yirmiyahu lamented for Yoshiahu. And all the singing men and the singing women spoke of Yoshiahu in their lamentations to this day, and made them an ordinance in Yashadael. And behold, they are written in the lamentations. Now there, rather, now the rest of the acts of Yoshiahu and his goodness, according to that which was written in the Torah, of Yahuwah, and his deeds, first and last, behold, they are written in the Sefer of the kings of Yashar'el and Yahudah.